What does the UX design process look like? Where do you start? These are the fundamentals you learn a lot about in school or from your online readings. I think every designer's process is different, and they all have their own ways of coming up with their own solutions. Today, I'm showing you mine. It all starts off with a call. You get your project, the design requirements, write down notes into a notepad, or in my case, type it out because you have shitty handwriting. Then you start organizing your thoughts into a problem statement so you can get a better idea of what exactly you're designing and who you're designing for. In this video, I'm creating an app that helps users discover new spots in their city. Typically, before I start designing, I like to look up inspiration online to get the creative juices flowing. This includes looking at different apps with clean designs, color palettes, and interactions of other app competitors. But honestly, inspiration can be found anywhere, from your home devices to even places you travel to. When I have an idea of what the flow is going to be, I start making rough sketches and wireframes to brainstorm it out. I usually think of a few different scenarios and then I start mocking it up on my computer. I use tools such as Figma or Sketch to create my mockups. These can be low fidelity or high fidelity mockups. Typically, this is where I finish creating the flow and adding visual elements to it. To me, this is when time just zooms by. I could be working here for hours and not even realize it. So that was kind of the process of how I do my UX design process and that typically starts off with what happens when I get a project from the very beginning from the product manager or a client for example all the way to the end where I deliver the high fidelity mockups. Now in real life obviously this will take a lot longer. This is never finished because there's always going to be more feedback and more iterations and even testing sometimes but I kind of give you a rough estimate and a, a rough idea of what it's like. I usually always go through the same brainstorming process, the wireframing process and the designs and sketches. So that's part of my favorite part. I love designing at my computer and I always have so much fun and there's always a lot of challenges that you can deal with when you're solving solutions and there are so many different ways that you can solve things. You just have to be really creative with it and think of it in a way for the user that makes it super intuitive. Anyways, I hope you liked this video and I hope that it was really helpful for you and insightful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That way I get an idea of what types of videos I should make more of in the future and where I should take my channel. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. Other than that, I'm Tiffany. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.